Hi, I'm Arlene, and I'm back again with another video. I'm trying to straighten that out. I hope it's straight. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a collective haul, and it's mostly perfumes that I've gotten over the last few weeks. Um, okay, we're going to start off with Angel Nova EDP. This is a fragrance that I'm familiar with because I've had the travel size. I just got the full bottle. This is the um, the 100 ml or 3.4. And this is the Angel Nova EDP. It's a long lasting, fruity, um, bright, any time of day fragrance. It can be worn for any occasion. I think it can be worn um, in the daytime um, with your friends, going to the mall, um, to dinner, or even, even in the evening, going to church. I think it's an all-around good fragrance that you can wear at any time. The fragrance notes are raspberry, lychee, damask rose, Acagala wood and benzoin. Acagala wood is a syn synthetic molecule that's reminiscent of patchouli and it has a hint of pepper and fine argar wood. So that's what the um, Acagala wood is one of the notes that's giving, giving it a long lasting um, effect. This does last on your body or skin and your clothes I would say eight plus hours very long lasting um, it's just a beautiful scent and this is by Mugler um, Angel Nova EDP now the rest of the fragrances I have they are all blind buys so, I'm going to spray that and let it dry down. I finally got the C. Fiori, and this is an EDP, I believe. This is the one in the light or pale pink bottle. It's, um, it's a beautiful... Um, flowery sweet scent it has a nice um base note in there i'm not sure what that is it might be a some kind of wood let me look and see what comes up i'm not sure if it's long lasting or not because i haven't um worn it yet i've only sprayed it the same way i just sprayed it on me now This is another scent to me that can be worn at any time. It has a sweet um, kind of powdery but yet sensual type scent. So the notes are black currant, green mandarin, neroli, Rose, patchouli, oak moss, vanilla, white musk. For me, I think it's a um I think it's a good blind buy if you can't get your nose on it. I do like it. If you like the um original C, I think you would like this one. I have the original C and the C Intense, and I like all of them. And now, to add to my collection, I have the C um, Fiori. And this is by Giorgio Armani. A very nice fragrance. I have it in the um, 50 mil or the 1.7.
It took a while for me to get my hands on that one. Um, it was out of stock or maybe it was supposed to be discontinued. I'm not sure, but it finally came up on um, FragranceNet and I was able to get it. So that's that one. Next. I think these are, well, not maybe not this one. I know the other two are a little bit deeper fragrances to me. This is, let's spray it over here. Okay, this one here is Lancome Hypnos. I have this in the 30 mil or the one ounce. I bought the small bottle. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect. I've heard a few people talk about it on um, YouTube, but I was not familiar with this fragrance at all. But I have been liking my other Lancome fragrances, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I was intrigued by it having a passion flower note. Is it passion flower? Passion flower. This is another pretty fragrance that I think that can be worn at any time. Um, it has a bit of a um, deep sultriness to it, but I can still see you wearing it to church, out with your friends, wearing it in the evening for a date night. I think it's a nice all-around fragrance. I don't think I would want to wear this in the dead of heat because it's a little, just a little bit heavy, but it's very pretty. I heard that it's long-lasting. I don't know. I can't speak to that because I haven't worn it out yet, but I think it's a pretty bottle. It has a pretty presentation. It's like a lavender color in there. Not sure if this will get deeper because it does have some vanilla in it. And like I said, it has that passion flower note that I was very intrigued by. So it has a little bit of a tropical scent to it. I think it's a very pretty um, fragrance. It's not a um, like pretty... Um, frou-frou type fragrance. It's a more, um, I would say a more mature scent, but not mature in the sense that it smells dated. It still has a up-to-date scent. Even though this came out either in the late 90s or the early 2000s, I think. I'll have to look that up again. But I'm not sure if this is one of the fragrances this on the chopping block for Lancome, but I do like it. It has a little gold plaque on the top that says Hypnos. I think that's pretty. Very nice. The notes on Hypnos are Passion Flower, Jasmine, Gardenia, Vanille, and Vetiver. So Vetiver is what's giving it that, that base, that deepness that I'm smelling. I don't have anything that smells like this in my collection, so I'm happy to have it, and I'm sure I would get lots of use out of it. I do think it's more of an evening scent in the summer or any time in the when it gets more cool, like fall. I think you'll be able to wear it any time then. But that's Lancome Hypnos. Okay, next I'm going to get into little deeper fragrances. Spray it on my arm here. This is my Burberry Black, another fragrance that I was unfamiliar with. 
I've heard of My Burberry, but I did not know they had a My Burberry Black. And it's, I, oh, I think that this fragrance here is the sexy black dress evening. Um, I'm going to get into something, a little something, something type of fragrance. I think this is all the way date night worthy or evening wor worthy. The bottle, it's cute. I think by having more of a um, darker or brown terracotta almost kind of, not terracotta, tortoise shell, you know, like the glasses, like it has that brown and beige type of look. I think it's giving it a more masculine look to the bottle and the bottle is so deep. I do think it's pretty with the little tie here. But the fragrance on the inside is good. I only got the 30 mil because I was unsure, hadn't heard about it, but I am glad I got it. And with all these fragrances that I'm accumulating now, it'll be fine that I have the 30 mil. I don't know how it wears but just on this first spray or second spray, because I sprayed it about a week, two weeks ago, it seems like it would have good lasting power, but I'm not sure. Good lasting power and projection. Let me tell you what I think it smells like. It's giving me a bit of a um, deep scent. Maybe like a little bit of a liqueur type scent in it. Very sensual. I blind bought it, but I'm not sure if it's a safe blind buy. Um, I think if you like fragrances that are a little bit deeper and not just fruity, fresh, um, sugary, then you might like this. It's definitely, like I said, a going out date night evening type fragrance. Let's see what the notes. The notes, let's see what the notes are. <laughs> the notes are jasmine, peach, rose, amber, patchouli. I personally like fragrances with peach in it. I don't know if it's because it takes me back to when I really started getting into fragrances, like in the late um, 80s, early 2000s. But it takes, the that peach note is like a heavier note to me in fragrances. Even though in real life, I wouldn't say it's a heavy note, but it seemed like when you get fragrances that have peach in it, it's a little bit heavier or like the plum note. I think that gives it gives fragrances a little heaviness. And to me, it's kind of reminiscent of the heavier, deep, dark fragrances of the late 80s for me. Or probably mid 80s. I was just smelling in the late 80s and early 90s. I really got into fragrances when you had the opiums, the poisons. Chanel number no. five, which is still very popular now. Um, I should say the original opium, the original poison. What what was another one I liked? The original Fendi. That was my first expensive fragrance that I bought for myself. Um I think it's uh Giorgio Beverly Hills Red. I know everybody used to love that other one. Giorgio. Everybody liked that one. I didn't like that one. I liked red. All of those fragrances are very heavy. And maybe that's why I like this Burberry Black because it is a bit heavy. But it has a, a, a bit of fruitiness in there. I'm not like the patchouli I'm sure that's giving it a bit of the base mix with the amber, but I'm not getting that patchouli scent. I personally like patchouli. 
But I think with this peach mixed with the rose and the jasmine and maybe even the patchouli, I think it's giving it a little bit of a spice. I like it. I really like it. Can't wait to wear that out. Next, let me put it back on where I'll spray it. Next, I have Dolce Gabbana, the one gold. And that's what this looks like. It's a pretty gold bottle. I have the 50 mil or the 1.7, or they say 1.6. Okay, 1.6. Sometimes it says 1.7, sometimes it says 1.6. Let's see. This is another, I think, evening fragrance. Even though I think you can get away with this one. Um, I think you can get away with this one in the daytime. But I will for sure wear this if I was, you know, doing something um, more than just like going to the mall or running to the grocery store or something like that. I would wear this when I'm actually doing something. It's a pretty scent. I mean, but hey, we all want to smell good all the time. So go for it. Wear it when you want. Um, let's see. I'm smelling a bit of um, like a fruit and a slight sweetness and flowers i'm getting a bit of a flowery scent but it um it's not the girly um fresh scent it's not that type of scent it has a another one it has it's a little bit deeper a little um a little sultry Let's see what's in the notes for that one. Oh, this is Dolce Gabbana Gold. It has plum. Maybe that's where I'm getting that. That little bit of deepness that I like. Pink pepper, Italian mandarin, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley, patchouli, vanilla, white musk. And you know, when I say deepness, I know I... um put that with like the woods and the patchouli I also think when I say deepness I'm thinking of spice or like a maybe it's giving me a little bit of a oriental flair maybe that's what it is and that could be the same thing with the Burberry black it's giving me just a little bit of that oriental um that i remember from the 90s <laughs> i am very happy with all of my blind buys that i've done here so of course we know angel nova edp for me is not a blind buy I've been savoring my travel bottle. Now I can fill this back up and have this ready for when I'm on the go. So we have the beautiful, the versatile, the all around <laughs> Mugler Angel Nova EDP. Then we're going to get into my blind buys, which is the pretty pale pink bottle, the C. Fiori. And then we have Hypno, Hypnos by Lancome in the lavender. Pretty bottle. The very nice fragrances. Also, the Dolce Gabbana, the one gold. And my Burberry Black. These were all 
of my blind buys. Very happy with them. They all smell beautiful. Can't wait to try them out and come back to you and let you know what type of um, what type of longevity they have, what type of silage, um, what type of occasion I wore it. Very excited to get into those. Then I have a small bath and body. I had to use my coupons before they expired. So I had a um, firecracker pop that I needed to return because I, before the SAS sale, I bought um, like the three for three type special. I had a 20% off coupon and I didn't know what I wanted. And I just bought a whole bunch of firecracker pop and I ended up exchanging them. And that was the last one I had. So I went on and exchanged it for Summer Melody that has notes of golden honeydew, bronze vanilla. Uh, once again, that day when I bought all those firecracker pops, the sales lady was trying to get me to buy this Summer Melody. And I was like, Ugh, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that in the store. I should have just bought it, brought it home, and then smelled it. But it does have a nice fruity melon scent mixed with the vanilla, just like what it says. It smells good to me. So I'm excited to try that. And with my um, free gift, I went on and got the body cream in the travel size to go with the full um, lotion. So, and that's also the summer melody. I'm sure I'll get good use out, use out of that. And then they had a $3 coupon for soap. I didn't realize that you had to get the gel soap because I was going to get, um, it was like a marshmallow Marshmallow Fireside, I think. I think that was the soap I was going to get. But it only came in the, the foam. But you had to get a gel soap for $3. So I end up getting the Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is Creamy Vanilla Sparkling Sugar Crystals. So that's that. They had candles on sale, I think, for $13.50. But I resisted. Like I said, I have I went crazy for SAS. And so I think I will only be like using a lot of the coupons or whatever. That's when I'll be going in going in there. When I have coupons, I heard that they sent a 30% coupon out. So that's probably my mailbox. I haven't picked up my mail. So I may uh Actually, today would have been a good day to use it to get one of the candles. Oh, I smelled the new candles. They smell really good, and I don't have anything like those in my collection. So, I think when I do decide to um, pick up candles and stuff like that, those are the ones I'll be looking for so far. Um, what else? Oh, in my Bath and Body Works, we're finally getting... I shouldn't say my, but in Michigan, we're finally getting the rewards program. So the sales guy told me to look, um, look forward to seeing that in my emails. And so I was like, I wonder, are they going to give us points for all that money we spent during SAS? He said, probably not. <laughs> I would have racked up a bunch of um, rewards if they would. But anyway, I'm going to end this video Thank you for watching. This is my, basically a perfume haul with a little of Bath and Body Works sprinkled in. Um, once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Hello to everyone and new subscribers, old subscribers. Please like, share, um, press the bell, 
and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances that I talked about because I know C. Fiore is very popular on um, YouTube. Excuse me. But the Hypnos, the Dolce Gabbana, the One Gold, excuse me, I got the hiccups, and My Berry Black are not so popular on YouTube. So let me know if you have any of these fragrances and what you think. Tell me about the longevity and the sea lodge and your opinion. I'll be glad to hear it. All right. Thanks again. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.